Hey, Joe. Today's the big day. Oh, you, you got that job at Harvard? No, they said I'm too smart for them. They did? Really? They said that my incompetence far exceeded the capabilities of the university and that regretfully, they're going to have to reject my offer. But I guess God had other plans for me. Right, that's what that means. So what's today? I'm going back home today. King's gonna drive me to the airport. Oh man, well it's been really fun getting to know you and hanging out with you this time. Oh good, you haven't left yet. So, I've been thinking. A lot of people have really enjoyed the videos where you're like talking with somebody else. So I thought what we could do is I'll dress up like a pirate and you can talk with me about Jesus, you know, since we're doing our new series called Anchored. Oh, uh, I see what you did there. Pirate's a nice touch. Thank you. So be ready for my pirate disguise when I get back. Okay, so is there like a script? Nah, we'll just wing it. You're pretty good at improv. You got it. Well, Ryan, we'll see you later. And uh, hope you come back and visit soon. Have a safe trip. And King, drive safe. <laughs> he thinks I drive myself. Later that same evening. You have come for your treasure. Oh, dang. Nice costume. Shiver me, Timbers. This is not a game. Give me what you have. Well, um, what did you say your name was? R. I am the famous pirate Blackbeard. And I've come for your valuables. Okay, Blackbeard. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, I don't have any treasure. When th where thieves and moths can decay... I store my treasure in heaven. What's this witchcraft you speak of? Draw me a map to where you keep this treasure. This place you call heaven. A map to heaven? I would love to paint you a picture. I don't want your painting. I want my map. Right. Map. Um... So if you're a pirate, you spend a lot of time on the sea, right? Aye. Yes, you you do have some beautiful eyes, but I don't see that how that's relevant. No, I said I, as in yes, I sail the seven seas looking for buried treasure. It's my life's work. Well, when you're out at sea, have you ever been in a storm? Yes. I have lost many men to Davy Jones' locker. By that beautiful blue lass that tosses me to and fro. But what does this have to do with my map? Oh, I'm getting there. You see, the world that we live in, we are constantly at sea. Sometimes the waters are calm and we're great sailing. We feel like we're moving forward constantly. There are days where there's no wind and... We're all driven mad because we're stuck adrift without any wind in our sails. And even still, there are times where there are storms. But you see, there's one consistent thing throughout all of that. And there's a God who's in control of all of it. Mm. Poseidon, the God of the ocean. No, not Poseidon. It's Jesus. You see, our world is like a house built on the sand. That's a bad idea. My friend Pegleg Joe tried that and he got more beachfront than he bargained for. You're right. This life that we live in is broken. And at times of trouble, everything that we have built in this world will crumble and fall. But, you see, Jesus has a kingdom that's unshakable with streets of gold, where no enemy can conquer, no death, no pain, no crying. That is where I store up my treasure. Streets of gold, you say? Why don't you tell me more about this kingdom? 
Hmm. Blackbeard, why don't you walk with me? And I'll tell you all about it. I, I will. That's a, that's a yes, right? I, it is. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye now. Arr, I'm Peg Leg Petunia. Now tell me about Jesus or I'll lock you under the poop deck. Uh, Joe? Where'd he go?